Hi friends, welcome. Um, it's time for another home visit from my home to yours. And this week's visit um, is for all of my three-year-olds and some of you might be turning four soon. Um, the title is I Spy Little Animals. That is the title of our lesson today. So this is Spark Lesson One, I Spy Little Animals. And uh, like we do with all of our home visits, go ahead and get out your journal and something to write with. If you have a pencil, that would be great. If not, you can use a crayon or a pen. Okay, let's write today's date at the top of our journal. Today is Wednesday. And you can get mom or dad or grandma or grandpa to help you with this. Wednesday, the month is August. And the day is the 11th. Now your day might be different depending on what day you're watching this video. So ask mom and dad what day you're going to put on your um, journal. And the year is 2020. So it should look like this, and your day will be different than mine. That number will be different. So you'll have mom or dad help you, and they can tell you what day it is. Okay, next we're gonna write our name in our journal. If you're already writing your name all by yourself, that's great, go ahead and write your name. And if you're really good at writing your first name, go ahead and write your last name too, okay? If you're still learning, get mom or dad to write your name with a light colored marker or a highlighter like this. And then you can take your pencil or crayon and trace right on top of that highlighter or marker. Okay, so I have traced my name Next, we're gonna draw a picture of ourselves today. So I'm gonna draw a circle for my face, draw my body, my arms and my legs. Don't forget your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your ears, and you could put some hair on there. And if you want to take extra time to add some clothes and some shoes, you can do that as well. Okay, so today, since our book is I Spy Little Animals, we're thinking about animals. So I want you to choose your favorite animal and draw that animal right on the page next to the picture of you. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my favorite animal. And your animal might not be the same as mine. So go ahead and draw a picture of your favorite animal. Okay. Can you guess what my favorite animal is? That's right, it's a cat. Cat. So in my journal, and you can have mom or dad help you, you're going to write my favorite animal is a, and in this blank, you will write the name of your favorite animal. If it is a cat like mine, then you'll write C A. T, C -c cat. Okay, now that we're done with our journal, let's put those up in a safe place so we'll have it for next time. And you're gonna get out your I Spy book and you should have received an I Spy magnifying glass. So I want you to get that out as well. We're gonna use this magnifying glass 
to help us to find the hidden animals in the book. Okay. I spy little animals. I'm gonna move our camera. Perfect. Move it a little closer so we can see it better. I spy little animals. I spy a bird and a small balloon. So now we're gonna look over on this side and see if we can find the bird and the small balloon. So take your magnifying glass, look through it, and you'll notice that it makes things look bigger. Can you find the bird and the small balloon with your magnifying glass? I see one. There's the small balloon. And there's our bird. I spy a turtle and a little spoon. Okay, use your magnifying glass and see if you can find the turtle and the little spoon. Did you find them? I spy a horse and a yellow duck. Can you find the horse and the yellow duck? I see the horse and the yellow duck. I spy an elephant and a zebra truck. Oh, I see the elephant. Where's the zebra truck? Can you find the zebra truck? Yes, there it is. I spy a bike and a dog with a hat. What color is that bike? That's right, it's a red bike. Can you find the red bike? Right there it is. And there's our dog with the hat. I spy a fire hydrant and a kitty cat. Can you find the fire hydrant and the kitty cat? Where are they hiding? There's the kitty and the fire hydrant. I spy a horse and a little red car. Use your magnifying glass and see if you can find the horse and the little red car. I spy a door and a starfish star. This is one of my favorite pages. I love this little door. I wonder who lives behind there. You can make up your own story about who lives under the sea in that little door. I spy a fish and a yellow dog. Can you find the fish and the yellow dog? I spy a mouse and a spotted frog. Find the mouse and the spotted frog. I spy a duck a phone and a tree. So we have three things to find on this page. The duck, the phone, and the tree. I see the duck, the phone, and there's the tree. I spy a bunny rabbit just for me. Can you find the bunny rabbit? Yeah, there he is. So you can play I Spy at home. Um, there's lots of ways that you can play it. You can play I Spy um, colors. Like I could say I Spy the color blue. And then if you look, somebody has to try to find what, what I'm spying. You can also do it with shapes. You could say I Spy something in this room that is a rectangle shape. And then maybe they would say, oh, is it that picture frame? So you can play I spy and you can even use your magnifying glass to spy. Okay, I'm gonna push our camera back a little bit so that you can see in front of me. Next, I want you to get out your shapes. You should have a bag of shapes in your, in your little pouch today. And I want you just to dump them out and if you look, 
The shapes are lots of different colors. And I'm gonna bring this camera down so that you can see them better. Okay, here are all our shapes. And there are lots of different colors, lots of different shapes. So you can do some sorting with these. Um, we could start and sort them by colors. So we could put the yellows together and let's put our pink ones together and our red ones and our orange ones and our purples. And here's another red. Here's a black, blue, purple, and green. Okay, and then these are kind of a multi-color, so we'll put these all of these together. And then you can go and you can count each group. How many yellow shapes do I have? Let's see. One, two. How many purple shapes do I have? One, two, three, four, five. How many red shapes do I have? One, two, three. When you are counting, it's very important to take your finger and touch each object as you count. It helps you to get the answer right, and it also helps you to understand one-to-one -one correspondence. One, two, three. Touch them as you count. Another way we can sort them is by the shape. So we have different shapes. We have circles, we have hexagons, we have triangles, we have ovals, and we have circles. Here's another oval. Here's another triangle. Put those together. And, oh, we have some squares, and we have some hexagons, and some ovals. And then you can do the same thing again um, and count how many are in each group. And so if I were counting my ovals, I'd line them up, and then touch each one as you count. One, two, three, four, five. And then we could get our hexagons, One, two, three, four, five, six. Which number is bigger, five or six? Which group has the greatest number? Six, six is bigger than five, so this has the greatest number. Let's see how many rectangles we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I want you to take each of your groups, put the shapes together, and then count how many are in each group. Okay, I'm gonna put our camera back up. Oh, you can't see me very good, can you? Here I am. Okay, one more thing we're going to do. You'll see these pages in your bag this week. We have some little poems. We're gonna talk about the different shapes and we can talk about their colors too. This is Ricky Rectangle. Ricky Rectangle, don't get me wrong. Two sides short and two sides long. So if you look at the rectangle, he has one, two short sides and he has one, two long sides. If you find a shape that has two long sides and two short sides, you know you found a rectangle. So I want you to look down in your pile of shapes and see if you can find a shape that has two long sides and two short sides. Yes, here we go. This is our shape. It has two long sides and two short sides. You can feel them. Take your shape and feel. Too long and too short. Rectangle. 
Next, let's look at honey hexagon. I'm honey hexagon. I live in a hive. I have six corners and six sides. So a hexagon is going to have one, two, three, four, five, six sides, and one, two, three, four, five, six corners. Let's see if we can find that shape in our pile of shapes. Look down at your pile and find a shape that has six corners and six sides. Hexagon. And you can feel your button and see if it has six. Feel them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagon. Next we have Tommy Triangle. Tommy Triangle, proud as can be, count my sides, one, two, three. One, two, three. Tommy Triangle has three sides. Let's see if we can find a triangle in our group. Did you find one? Here's our triangle, it has one, two, three sides. Count the sides on your triangle and make sure you grab the right one. Next we have Ollie Oval. I'm Ollie Oval, a football shape is mine. Some people think that I'm an egg, but I think I look fine. So Ollie Oval looks like a football or an egg. Can you find an oval shape? Remember, it looks like a football shape or an egg shape. Here we go, I found one. Found a green oval. Here's another round shape. This is Susie's circle. Susie's circle, big and round. All I do is roll around. There's our circle. Let's see if we can find a circle in our group. I found a red one. What color did you find? Okay. I know I have another one in here. We're going to, oh, here it is. This is Sandy Square. Sandy Square is my name. My four sides are all the same. So a square has one, two, three, four. It has four sides but they're all the same size. So we're gonna look and see if we can find a square. I found an orange square. And let's make sure it has four equal sides. One, two, three, four. What color did you find? Okay. So those are our shapes. We're gonna put them all back. Another, well, one other game you can play since we did I Spy, and this is really fun, you can take your magnifying glass, mix up all your shapes, and then you can play I Spy. And for example, I could say, I spy a red circle. So you're looking for a circle, but it needs to be a red circle. Take your magnifying glass, look at all of the shapes, and see if you can find a red circle. Found one. Or you could say, I spy a orange square. Found an orange square. I spy a purple triangle. Can you find a purple triangle? Let's use our magnifying glass to find one. Oh, here we go. I spy a white rectangle. Did you find a white rectangle too? So there's lots of things that you can do with I Spy and with your shapes. Let's put our shapes up. Put them back in your baggie so that you can use them again later. You can show mom and dad or your big brother, big sister, or grandma or grandpa what you have learned today and show them the shapes and tell them the names of these different shapes that you've learned, okay? Put everything back. 
And that is our I Spy lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, um, if you need any help, just give me a call. Thanks everyone. I hope to see you soon. Have a great day.